If you haven't joined before, welcome. My name's Luke and this channel is about my guitar progress. It's about tips that I like to share along the way, hopefully help you guys out. And also I do guitar course reviews. So if there's any guitar courses that you're interested in doing, please leave a comment below. But overall, if you're interested in that kind of content, please hit the subscribe and notification bell and the like button, and uh, it's very much appreciated. So I'm approaching the end of Paul David's beginner guitar course, Learn, Practice, Play. If you've seen any of my other videos, basically I've been doing playthroughs and I got to module four on that. I have been playing outside of that, but I haven't shown it on the YouTube channel. So today I thought I'd sit down and show you what it's like inside the course. We get into the course itself, the modules, so you get an overview of what you're getting. I also talk about my likes, my dislikes about the course, um, whether or not I think it's worth it, and ultimately, give you my kind of recommendation. So let's get into it now and jump into the computer and you get to see what it's like. Okay, so let's take a little look at the course itself. And so this is the sales page for learnpracticeplay.com, Paul's beginner guitar course. And if we take a look on the front page here, he talks about who, how many uh, modules are in it. So seven core modules with 55 in-depth videos, including PDF tabs, downloadable backing tracks and more. There is a fair bit more and I'll show you that once we log in in a second but um, you do get lifetime access for the cost that you pay it is expensive compared to others and I'll get into that a bit later but for that cost of 199 US dollars you get um, lifetime access and there's a 30 day back money guarantee so if you're not happy you just get started and you find it's not for you you just flick them an email and you get uh, a refund so that's pretty good or you can split the cost into three monthly payments so a lot of the questions I get about this um, are whether or not it's for them. Um, so let me just kind of clarify a few bits about the course. So um, there is quite a big sales page on here, to be fair. So I can understand some, why some people might just get uh, get over that quite quickly. But what it is really, um, and it kind of described in the first few areas, is that it's for guitar players who are beginners who played a little bit before who are frustrated with their progress um is it really for a complete newbie well from my experience um i think there are better courses for, for a complete newbie um and i'll probably talk about that a bit later as well but in terms of if you've got a little bit of experience and you're a fan of pools i think this can work for you but let's uh let's get into the detail um, and log in and then you can see for yourself okay so this is the first login page that you get um, you get a little bit of a welcome screen and um, he shows his two courses now for the $199 let me just clarify you don't get both courses you get his beginner course which is learn practice play and if you want to pay another $199 then you can get his next level um, course which is supposed to be really good and I've heard a lot of great things about it um, but I haven't bought it yet and I haven't tried it out but it's, uh, something for the future to do anyway so you click on the icon to get started And then here you get to see those um, seven modules he was talking about, plus some resources, and this is the getting started module. And here he talks about how you get the most out of this course. There is um, a, bit, a bit of a discussion about, um, you know, playing along with backing tracks and getting to the habit of practicing, and he references his PDF practice tracker. Now that PDF practice tracker is just like a, a calendar that you mark X's on really, um, just to encourage you to, to, to build the habit. And that's an extremely important part of um, learning to play guitar in my experience. So it's more of a psychological thing rather than any kind of practice schedule, if you like, but an important one really. So what else have you got here? Um, he's also said he's got, if you're just picking up the guitar for the first time, we need a refresher. Um, there's a few extra videos throughout the course. And there are a few, yep. Um, so if you're completely new, there are a couple of little bits, but I just don't think it's comprehensive as a um, Justin Guitar's beginner course, for example. So what else do you get here? Well, you get some advice about choosing the right guitar, um, and that's either acoustic or electric. Um, so, you know, it doesn't really matter which one you play. This course will work for you. Um, I started out playing the on the electric um, because I just bought that and I enjoyed playing it. Um, but as as I developed in the course and when I got to module four, there's a lot more finger picking. I just tended to to prefer playing that on an acoustic guitar, so I switched over. Um, but there's no reason you can just play this on a 
um or any guitar really could play it on like he mentions here um you know steel string acoustic or a nylon classical for example an electric um they all the obviously principles and the fundamentals will uh, apply so then also you get um a little video about tuning the guitar which is obviously a fundamental that you need to know and it gives a couple of links to some um clip-on tuners i personally use a, an app myself and i find that absolutely fine and then he talks about chord diagrams and how to read tabs now yeah um, this is a really useful skill to learn and you obviously see uh, when i go into these modules that you get a bit of information about this and um it's optional, but you can obviously learn to read music as well uh, on top of all this um, if you take the time to do. And along the way, in each module, Paul will give you like brief pro tips, I think he might call them, about um, learning a bit more from that particular lesson within the module. So let's get into it. So the first module, um, a lot of this first module, well, yeah, pretty much all of this first module you'd see me cover inside my um, video where I do the playthrough. But um, you get to learn the magical four notes, he calls it, and this is a little melody. Um, I'll just open this one up and you'll get to see what it says about it. Um, so what you get is a module warp workbook. Um, and this has got all the tabs and notations for the exercises and you can download it and print it out. And, and um, talking to a few people on the Facebook group because you get uh, access to a face group book group also um, they have downloaded and printed and made their own folders so it's quite a useful one um, and there's a lot of printouts that you can do for each module so that's uh, a good thing and then what you get to see is this video here will be Paul going through the um, the, uh, the the actual lesson in this in respect and then afterwards once you've done that lesson you get to practice those exercises um, along with some tab and um, so then you'd be able to sort of understand what you're doing and get the timing right um, you can see he's got the beats per minute here um, and then you've got a backing track that you can play play against now you obviously you can play that straight from his website or you can download it so that's pretty cool and one thing I probably haven't talked about in my uh, playthroughs is that a lot of these lessons have an, an advanced um, lesson attached to them now I haven't really played through these through these um, on my YouTube channel but I have explored a few of them and they're really good actually just to push you on that a little bit more um, if you didn't find the course particularly uh, that lesson particularly challenging then you can obviously um, get into that or if you'd like to try and push yourself a bit more there they're good for that then cover some basics here about the guitar and then these pro tips like I talked about previously where you get uh, a bit more information about how to set your posture and getting things right from the start, which is very important um, when you're first starting to learn. Um, then I, you get to see uh, the kind of sort of um, structure for each module, if you like. So in this one, you've got uh, talked about the chords and the E minor pentatonic scale. Um, there's a bit a bit on theory and um some more open chords and he talks here um in the theory about the notes on the fretboard now he, over obviously he gives you a over overview here of all the notes that you usually want to learn but he's just basically introducing this the course is really in my opinion is really well um paced in terms of the integration of theory with practical playing of the guitar um which is nice it's not too heavy like some 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 courses will separate out the two quite distinctively and often i find that then you get bogged down or bored doing one thing whereas paul likes to spice it up and he mixes it through the course so what you often find is you get um you, you get a melody to play to start and then a, some chords and a i mean in this one particularly you've got a scale and then you kind of a bit of theory and you kind of mix it all in together and it kind of makes sense and uh, i think that's why paul calls it his uh, roadmap okay so that's module one so let's see what you get in module two module two you get some scales you've got a melody called the mediterranean melody and this one is actually prevalent through i think two or three modules so you build upon it as you go and you increase your um, skills and techniques you've got some chords 
you've got the A minor pentatonic, there's some bit of blues, and then you do a solo over the blues. So you've got a nice mix here, if you have a look. Um, scales, melody, open chords, uh, pentatonic scale, some blues, and then learn to solo a bit of the blues. So real nice variations to the course. Module three, you have um, some good mix again. So you've got uh, some some ni another nice melody you get to learn with some open strings, some power chords. Um, so they're always good, to, sort of confidence inspiring because you get to play songs pretty quickly with power chords. I always find. And um, following that, you've got some blue scales, a bit more about um, theory and intervals, and then a major chord progression. As you can see, for each um, lesson, you get a module workbook, like I mentioned, that you can download. You can download the exercise as well. So you can practice all this away um, from being in the course and build up your own kind of library of material, if you like. Module four. Again, you get this mix of melody, and that's where you do some country um, <laughs> licks that I think I showed in my last playthrough video and um, some chords and open chords c major scale and a few more but it says just chords here but you get to you get a full lesson on how to um, do the chord progressions to make them sound really interesting like this one here um you know play a chord progression that helps you make fluid transitions between chords and experiment with licks based on the g chord so it's fun and i really enjoy the fact that you get backing tracks in here it just uh, adds Add so much more to a course when you get to play with a backing course, backing track like that. Module five. Here again, you can see that Mediterranean melody pops up, and you're developing that. Um, some more really interesting chords. I think Paul has some really um, great sort of kind of chord progressions that you get to learn. If you've ever seen any of his YouTube videos, you know what I'm talking about. Um, often feels way beyond me, but um, you start to see introduction of it here and it's uh, it's a lot easier to digest so it's it's good for that um it's good to sort of get your head around and understand what's going on there it talks about other things like a ghost strum which is basically where you don't strum um but you keep your hand moving uh you got the a minor scale blues and then some more solo stuff and then moving on to the penultimate uh, module um, this is quite cool. You start to do some finger picking with some walking bass lines. I've just um, been looking at the uh, that the other day. Um, again, I revisited that one, and that was fun. And then palm muting. So um, obviously, <laughs> palm muting has always been one for me. It's a bit of a challenge, but um, it's getting better. Um, obviously, with the more you practice, it makes sense. So uh, that's a good one. Um, chords that Mediterranean melody again. Again, you you're adding to it and building upon it. So that's um, the seven modules. Let's have a quick look at the resources that you get. This is the um, practice tracker. Like I said, it's just a PDF that you can download. There's an A to Z of guitar terms, a glossary if you like. Um, a lot of these are scattered through the modules anyway um, to help you learn. But here's just a quick reminder if you need it. There's a full <laughs> chord chart and then there's this bonus bonus course about the um how to look after your guitar so that's the course itself and let's just get into what what i think about it personally so there's a lot to like about this course paul gets you playing straight away the videos themselves are very high production quality as you would expect from him seeing his youtube channel the videos themselves are nice small bite-sized chunks so it's easy to digest and then you get into playing and you get playing along a synchronized track and you also get a backing track so the variance that you get just within one lesson is very good and it's easy just to get straight into it across a module for example you get a really good mix so you get the uh, practical playing you might get a scale like i've shown you and you obviously get a bit of theory mixed in as well as you're playing along the backing track so that's nice it keeps it interesting and it also means that the course overall has a really good pace and that means it doesn't get too much at any one point the information isn't too dense you don't get a big chunk of music theory and that's what i think you need when you're in those early stages of playing guitar when you've got a bit more experience under your belt and you want to focus down on something then you might want to change that there are some elements within the course though that i think could be improved the amount of content targeted for newbies 
isn't enough in my opinion in comparison to other courses that you've got. For example, with the Justin Guitar Beginner course, which is entirely free, there's a lot more spread of information. It feels like there's, you're holding your hand a lot more. And with this course, you just don't get that. You get straight into playing, but I don't think enough time is spent on that. And that's reflected by the fact that I asked people within the Facebook group whether or not they supplemented their learning. And many of them said they did, some to the point where they would just use the Justin Guitar course and then supplement it with Paul David's course. And at the cost of $199, that just feels to me that there's something lacking there in terms of the overall content for a, for a new guitar player. While the course has a good mix in each module, I do feel it gets a little bit tedious as you work through it. For example, with the melody where you play it three times throughout the course and you're building upon it. I understand that that's quite interesting, but I'd rather that was applied to a real world song. And that leads me to my next point really. There's no popular songs within this course. So anything you're gonna learn uh, about that is gonna be outside of the course, whether or not you supplement it with YouTube videos or wherever else you wanna get your information about guitar lessons or tabs, wherever it may be. We know Paul's a very skilled guitar player, so it'd be nice to have a choice of songs within the course that you could learn. Obviously, that's gonna be difficult to achieve for everybody, and I guess that's why he didn't do it, because you can't please everyone. It's just to feel that he's talented enough to have that, and it'd be good to have some of that exclusive kind of content behind there so that you can get access to it when you're paying this kind of money. So is learn practice play worth it? Is it worth the 199 US dollar tag? Before I get into that, I've got to say that any guitar tuition for you get from someone experienced online for this kind of money is still cheap, okay? Um, in person, one-on-one -on -one lessons is gonna cost you a lot more, thousands of dollars most likely, and you're getting it for a fraction of the price. So obviously, you've got to take it all with a pinch of salt. But when you're looking at someone who's teaching online, you've got to compare it to others that are teaching online. And when I compare this course, I think there's a few things where it could be improved, like I mentioned. Overall, I'd say Paul is the thinking man's guitar player. He's very good at planting a seed. He mixes theory through the course, it interweaves with the practical. It's very easy to work through and it's enjoyable. There are just some elements within the course that I think could be improved. Like I mentioned, in terms of the amount of content that's in there, uh, it's a lifetime access that you get to this course and it'd be nice to see him build upon that and then he could probably promote it more and get more people in. Because at the moment, I think it's slightly thin. If you're a complete newbie, I wouldn't say go for this course. If you've got a bit of experience and you're a fan of Paul, then okay, go for the course. But $199, uh, it's a lot more than you could get for a comprehensive course like Justin Guitar's beginner course. So overall, the course is well structured and well paced but in my opinion it's a little thin on content and because of that it makes the price tag feel high when you compare it to other courses online. That being said though I'm a fan of Paul's and I've heard great things about his intermediate course next level playing, better things than I did about this beginner guitar course and when you look at his YouTube content a lot of that is kind of centered around that intermediate to advanced player in my opinion anyway. So I could understand why he's done that. He's probably been fed up with 11 years of teaching beginners and he just wants to do the things that he loves. So overall, that's my review of the course. I hope it was useful to you if you're thinking about purchasing it. If you'd like to check out any of my other videos, you can see me play through the first four modules to get an idea of what the course is all about and what you get to do throughout it. If you've got any queries, questions or comments or you completely disagree or agree with me, then let me know below. I've also done a blog post on this to really break down. There's actually more detail within that if you'd like to know more and I'll leave that in the show notes below. But that's it for this and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.